Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the Banana Empire. So I'm kind of running out of things to do, or possibly look at. Might just go all in on the assault assaulting all these countries. Well, not so much assaulting as bringing them under our under our benevolent corporate rule. In order to do that, I will probably need more of a navy, or at least some, uh, at least some better cruisers. Now we are starting to run a bit low on things here. Can I change these over to greens? Yes, yes, I can. We'll save up some manpower. And it's not like we're really short of anything. No, we do need a little bit more manpower, but not much. Now I might have to start going to service by requirements, which would give me an extra five percent recruitable population. We're already at twelve point six percent. That's kind of nuts. I guess trying to build up all the compliance of um in Ecuador would be handy. And the last episode I discovered that adding military access to a neutral country or gaining it that allows me to just build way more or railways and stuff in their territory. So maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and go ahead and do that. Oh look, Colombia is being attacked. Naval invasions from who? Ah, the Americans. Tut -tut. Interfering with business operations. There can be no more heinous crime. Well, it's not like we can actually do a lot here. Let's see, can I send here? Probably not. So I'm just gonna send them, send them some old Gloucester gladiators. I mean, the only thing we're really doing is just crawling the Americans and the rest of them. And so I am considering going to war with Peru. So they are trade partners with us. Ecuador does have claims on some of these. We don't really have a just there. I suppose after this armor effort, I might actually try building an arm, some regular armored infantry. What is this? Attack on Guantanamo Bay. You have no clue what's going on over there. Which is owned by the US. Very weird. That's just some random border conflict over Guantanamo Bay. Well, Guantanamo Bay now belongs to Cuba. I have no idea what that was about. Hmm.
Oh, they want to re remove American eight. Okay. Ah, but they have an option to do that. Well, since I think it might be time to think of that. And with that, our Marines are fully buffed. Now, update these a little bit. I do also need to get military police to buff the corporate patrol division. Fragility? Or why not? You forgot to pause recording while waiting for it to happen. But yeah, two pronged attack on both um, Santiago de Cuba and Angela Habana will probably make them fall very quickly. And of course, they're joining the Allies now, so this may not be a possibility anymore. I may need to rethink this. So if I do go to war with, with Cuba, they might just have the, might just draw the Yanks in. in, in. Right. 
So I think I might change that to. Hmm. Mm, change that to Haiti or the Dominican Republic. They got as Peru got a since Uh, not one that they can actually get, so it might might be the people to go after. Target Lima. And where are collaboration governments? but it's just not working after now Okay, I can't do it from there. Let's up a few um airfields on the Galapagos, and then go from, and then land there. I think that might work. Now, can we really grow bananas in in Peru? Probably not. Second thoughts, building them out here is not really worth it. Yep. Which means... Hmm, means we have to go from here. Go from the Galapagos to Lima. It means they do need to get there first. 
means I can actually create more of these. Whereas now we are going to be short of steel. Might be time to upgrade a few things. Let's see, can I a breakthrough and soft attack? Mind if I do? Damn, we lost a spy. These are really great, though. Tough and linguist might be the least bad one. Our spy in Peru. Well, it's gonna happen sooner or later anyway. So, June 1945, and well, things have changed quite a bit from our timeline. Soviets and Germans are still battering away at each other. Iran has taken a significant chunk of the Soviet Union. Japan is struggling to push into China, though Thailand is pushing into India. The East Indies haven't fallen to, fallen to the Empire of Japan. And it looks like it's a bit, a bit of a stalemate over here. Um, and we're building up to our liberation of Peru. Of course, one of our agents got caught, but while, set, while setting up a collaboration government, but I think we'll have him free in the uh, 29th, and we should have the should be ready to go on the 26th. I see no reason why the extra why we couldn't wait the extra few days. He wants to buy some convoys from us, though. So, is we take. Oh dear. Let's do that. Now our wait for our agent to get back. More useful under our thumb than you're seeing in the Peruvian jail. Okay, time. And of course, we can't actually launch our paratroopers yet because. Perfect. Because at least some of them are being. Some of them are being used for our own defense. But we are pushing. And of course, we don't have enough air superiority, but. Okay, wait for these guys to start attacking, then push. So basically, try and attack from two, from multiple different sides if possible. This will be take a while, but we'll get there. Rated artillery. That's always good.
We don't have enough air to prepare all these regions. Sorry. Now this is going slowly, but I think we can get Try and push down to Torelio and cut, cut them off. Looks like we got an encirclement here. That should help. Time to push the aggression up on the on this execution here. Nope. Second Marine Division can't get on the shore, but they they basically can't stand against us. They're just outnumbered that heavy. Yep, we lost at least one airborne division there. That's not as bad as the last time we did. Looks like we're going to at least get the shore. Yep, we have got a shore. Just what we wanted. Let's see. Now, not have enough air. This and here. Yeah, they're already losing quite badly. And the 31st Vision was the first onto the beaches, so awarded for their breakthrough. That's one encirclement out of the way. There so. They're trying to push back, but they won't manage. Now I need to start getting this. As usual, we're just burning through supplies. Now we're burning through steel. Not by burning through, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they're ca cancelling all these supplies, these trades, because they don't have the convoys. Like, it's a really annoying thing. Okay, Paris, forget about, about this. Let the infantry mop up this area. You guys focus on taking...
Price superiority. Boo. See, does the efficiency boost make any difference? Not really. I think we just don't have enough planes. Well, that. I know they're untrained, but. Hmm, we've lost nearly 40,000 people to their 90,000. Now that I have this... I suppose might as well just go through all this. And just going through the motions on that. Trying to get air superiority is such a pain in the... Something I can do about. And of course, I can use this old generic mail for this, which is annoying. Yeah, that should. That's exactly what we needed. Just more planes. And that should probably be the last. Let's see. If their organization would be bad. See, I'm going to start adding armor onto these things. The paratroopers. Ah, so I can only have them in place of recon. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's significantly buffed them. Of course, they're very short of it, but... Excellent. And do we want their screen? Probably not.
We're very short of light tanks now. Americans want to buy our banana boats. Same for they would like to. Right, do you go on out this so called resistance? Let's see. I could see worse. FEMA needs a um, secret police force trying to keep that down. Of course, now we're really short of steel. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So we managed to push into, expand our operations into Peru, which is going to take a while to them to settle down, but I have every confidence in our forces' ability to project their, to project our will. Sorry, I can't do but anyway, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you in the next one. I think I might just actually try pushing down all the way down to the Tierra del Fuego here just to see if I can. Probably not going to be worth I mean, Probably not going to be too hard. It's going to be easier than taking on the US. Though, considering how this area seems to be going, it might not. But anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next one. Bye.